Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Koji Kuchishi from Saifus Biomedical. This is the outline of my presentation. I first talk a little bit about the company. Then I explain our platform technology. Then after showing the several preliminary examples of the sales applications, I'll talk about our business. First, the company was founded in 2010 based on a technology licensed from the Kyushu University. We now have 22 people, including 12 researchers and three engineers. We are VC-backed private company at the, stage of pre uh, at the stage of research. Our platform technology is about fabrication of 3D tissue construct to replace damaged or dysfunctional organs. To have 3D, we first create a bunch of cellular aggregates, which we call spheroid. And literally skewer them one by one on needles, like shish kebab. So unlike shish kebab, the cells in the, in the spheroid are alive. So they fuse together. And after a certain uh, maturation period, we simply collect, uh, remove the needle to collect the 3D tissue. This skewering process is a proprietary technology, which is patented in the US, China, Japan, Singapore, pending in Europe. In preparation of spheroid, by dispensing a couple of 10,000 cells per micro well on a low attachment surface, a spontaneous aggregation takes place. We can either, either, either use a single type of cells or mixed type of cells, depending on your target applications. Then the following skewering process is fully automated by a Bio3D printer, Reginova. By loading 3D data and spheroid, the system automatically assembles them into 3D on the needle. Then after a certain post-maturation period, the tissue is collected. Let's take a look at the video. This machine is basically a pick and place machine. Picking up spheroids and place them in the needle array according to the data. The printing process is precisely controlled with machine vision. The minimum pitch of the system is 300 micrometer. The mounted cell aggregates looks like a baby corn, and they fuse together immediately. And in a, in a few days, the surface of the tissue becomes very smooth like this. And after a certain maturation period, in this case, over three weeks, the tissue becomes very elastic and can be sutured on your surgical technique. Then I show you several uh, cell applications. We strongly believe that the range of the application is very broad. So in order to explore the possibility, we are actively collaborating with Japanese academia. So let me show you several examples. The first one is engineered blood vessels. In this case, we used mixed cell aggregate of fibroblasts and enteriol cells. And within a week, the tissue becomes very elastic and can be sutured with standard uh, surgical technique. And after a further maturation period, over three weeks, the histology looks very similar to that of native tissue. The burst pressure of this engineered tissue is more than 10 times stronger than a normal blood pressure. Next example 
as MSC construct for cartilage regeneration. In this case, we manufactured scaffold-free MSC construct in cylindrical shape and implanted them in the osteochondral defect in the knee of the mini, uh, mini pig model. The upper picture shows the implanted group, and the lower picture shows the control. As shown, the defects were filled with proper tissues, including hyaline cartilage and subchondral bone. This application will enter into clinical research very soon, within three to six months. We also created beating heart tissue from human iPS-derived cells, cardiomyocytes, having capillary structure inside, which is organized by endothelial cells. Next example is nerve. In this case, we use iPS cell-derived neurospheres, 3D printed into a larger construct. The green dot shows undifferentiated neural stem cells. The red shows differentiated mature neurons. And after further maturation period of three weeks, the tissue further mat matured, matured and becomes a neuron-rich 3D construct without any necrosis. Now, an another uh, new sample shows the organization of tube-like rosette structure, which is a signature of developmental or neural progenitors. So to recap, we have two different concepts of cellular applications. The first one is cell delivery system. While the conventional approach of injecting cell suspension has very limited engraftment of the cells delivered, our 3D tissue can retain more than 80% of the cells delivered to the site. And second target is to manufacture the 3D construct without using any scaffold. We can still use uh, some scaffold if, if necessary. And moreover, we strongly believe this is a very promising approach of creation of functional organs, leveraging the nature of self-organization of the cells. So based on this platform technology, our business model is like this. The first one is to selling is the sale of the bio, bio 3D printer. Already seven systems are installed in Japan. We have now started the, uh, selling a delivery of the system to the US market. And secondly, we will license our, our IP, either regarding a platform technology or the specific sale applications. Lastly, we will launch our contract manufacturing of 3D tissue, either for research purpose or the clinical use. So in order to achieve this business model, what we are looking for in the US market is to have customers of bio 3D printers for a general. And secondly, uh, we, are, we seek for the strategic partners for commercialization of our technology because we position ourselves as a platform technology provider or manufacturer of the 3D tissue. We need partners for clinical development, regulatory approval, and marketing. And lastly, for those who wish to do the research internally, we're happy to license our platform technology for the, at the corporate level. Thank you very much.